Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're going to be doing a review of this L2 Fish paddleboard. This is a really unique board. It's a, it's a catamaran, and, uh, and I've been using it for the past year or so. And I'm going to talk about both the pros and the cons. We're totally unbiased here. Uh, and if you have used it, you know, please do leave your, your comments down below. But in my opinion, the, the, the best three pros, we'll go through the, the, the pros first, is that this is just super stable. Like as far as uh, I love sight fishing and, and, and you know, paddleboard fishing, uh, uh, compared to kayak fishing, you're just you're elevated, right? You can see in the water so much better, and the stability on this. I've tried a lot of different paddle boards, and this is probably the most stable one out there. At least the, it's definitely the most stable one that I've that I've used so far. It's 34 inches wide, which is fairly wide, but the unique aspect is that it's a catamaran, so all the flotation is out here on the on the on the ends, right on the edges, and uh, and it's still wide, but it paddles like it's a more narrow board because right there in the middle. The water to go straight through. There's there's no water drag in the middle, and uh, all the water drag is really uh, you know have these sharp points that's cutting the water really really efficiently. What I'm gonna do is just to show you the stability. Is I'm putting all my weight over both feet are on one side of the board, and I'm still not falling over. That that is, I, I don't do not believe that is possible with any other board. Uh, any other board that I've used, I would totally be in the water right now. Um, again, super stable, and it's so stable that sometimes I go out. And I put my, uh, my, my platform, my casting platform from the boat so that I'm an extra 14, 15 inches higher where I can really see like the entire flat and, uh, and still no stability issues. So I'll say that the biggest thing is just stability. Another good factor is, and this is really ties in with stability, but just the, the weight that you can put on here. You know, I've had like my 100 pound dog on uh, with a cooler and I think it holds up to like 500 pounds, which is obviously way more than I've ever used. But yeah, so just given how stable it is, you can put a, you can put a lot of weight on and not have any any trouble with stability. Uh, another thing is just the the lightness compared to kayak fishing, which is what I grew up doing. You know these paddle boards are just made out of a lighter material. The base weight is just 50 pounds uh, or 51 on the dot. Uh, compared to a kayak of that same that same length and width, it's going to be you know probably 80 if not if not more. So these paddle boards, if you're a skinny skinny guy like me, it's a, for transportation wise it's a whole lot easier to manage one of these than it is a kayak of the, uh, of the same metrics. All right, and as far as fishability, uh, that's my primary concern is that, uh, cause I like simple, I like to keep it simple, right? I'm just artificial lures, I only take the cooler and a rod. But what I really like about the fishability of it, and this is why this is one of my favorite boards for fishing, is, is the hole design it makes it where it's a really quiet hole slap. There, there's very low, it'll minimize the hole slap compared to many other boards where it kind of has a flared front. Uh, that what happens is those waves, you know, that, that flared front's going out, those waves will smack it. And that, that will cause a lot, of, a lot of noise. And I've seen so many fish, my other paddleboard is like that. And I've watched fish from a long distance off, they'll hear that smack and they're gone. Whereas this one, I can get up a whole lot closer. Uh, but as far as like accessories and stuff, you know, the other benefit is that you, know, you, can, you can mount, it has the little uh, yak attack type mounts on there. You can mount anything you want. Again, I, I like to keep it simple. I'm mostly doing sight fishing. So the, the, the least amount of things on here, the better, in, uh, in my opinion. As far as the cons, right? You know, we talked about the pros for a while. Uh, the cons, number one, the, and the biggest one is the price. You know, this is more expensive than, uh, than many other, many other op options. It's, uh, I believe it's $2,200, $2,300 for the, this is the L2 fish, the 12, 12 foot version. Um, and a lot of kayaks are, you know, there are actually a lot of kayaks that same price, even higher. Um, but it, again, it's, it is, it's fairly expensive. However, you know, I've had this for uh, probably a year and a half now, and I beat it up. I beat it up pretty well, and it's still in good shape. I have to imagine it's going to last another 10, 10, 20 years, if not longer. So I, I think, as far as the, uh, you know, the annual expense when you when you take it out over a long period of time, it's really, uh, really not too bad. Uh, another thing is, as far as comparing it to other paddle boards, this is a little bit thicker, so storage is a little bit of an issue. Let me just get out and I'll show you how thick it is. Because um, my other paddle board is more like the surf style, and it's it's not it's not as thick. So I can just in my garage I can just lean it over uh, on the side of the garage, and it doesn't take up too much space. Whereas this one, you, know, you kind of look at it, you know, it is it's a decent amount of it's probably what like eight nine inches from from top to bottom. So it does take up more space in the garage. I guess is my point there. So that's a con. But if you have budget for this board and you like fishing, especially if you like sight fishing, this is this really is a solid board. 
and I'll put a link down below where you can see my first time where uh, I took it out and I had the idea, I always wanted to, to use that pulling platform for my boat, the, the casting platform. And I put that right here in the middle and stood up on that and uh, brought my push pole from the boat. Then I was just pulling down a flat and I could see everything. And uh, totally secure as far as stability and I had a really good trip. So I'll put a link down below for you to check that out. And if you are a kayaker, most of the questions I get about paddleboard fishing, they're, they're from kayakers who are just curious about paddleboard fishing, like what do I need, right? What's the, what's the stuff I need? And again, in my opinion, it's, it's keep it, you know, keep it simple where I literally, I just, I really recommend a cooler like this. And I use that to keep the rods right behind me where I can just literally just reach back behind me, pick it out and, uh, and start casting. Uh, a lot of people ask about tying the cooler down. Um, yes, you can, especially, you know, you can, you can mount these, these sort of uh, little attachments where you can tie anything down that you want. I never, I'd never tie the cooler down. I've, it, this board is so stable that I, it's really never been an issue. I can take some, some serious waves and, uh, and it'll, it'll not come over. I can't, I can't imagine a situation where, um, where this, this cooler would flip other than if I was trolling and I, and I wanted, you know, I wanted protection of a fish taking it off. But as far as just you using it, a cooler like this isn't going to go anywhere. But as far as, you know, loading and unloading, uh, the reason why I really like this setup is I have, you know, the rods in the rod holder, have the cooler with all my stuff in there, uh, my tackle and drinks and everything. And so with one trip, I can literally take everything where I just hold this stuff in my hand, get the board up, grab it by the little holder there. Just make sure that's centered. And now I can just walk straight to the truck and, uh, and put it up. You know, comparing to kayak fishing, you know, there's no way I could I could lift a, a 12, 12 and a half, you know, foot kayak with one hand while I'm, you know, taking the rest of the gear. So this, as far as efficiency, uh, if you're like me and, you know, don't have, don't have all day to fish, you know, every second that you're not fishing is, uh, is time wasted. So that's another reason why I've, I've really gravitated towards, uh, you know, paddleboard fishing over the past really five, 10 years. So yeah, one other feature too about just the, you know, using a cooler like this along with a board this stable is, uh, is when it's this stable, you literally, you know, to take a break, right? If you wanted to, to take a break and relax, you can just sit on the cooler. Uh, also, if I am paddling into the wind, so like a, a con on just paddleboarding in general, is when you're paddling into the wind, your body is literally a sail. That's just wind resistance. And so I, if I'm paddling into the wind, I'll literally just sit down and just, and just paddle like this. And it's shocking how, you know, how much more effective it is. First of all, I'm using a little bit different muscles. I'm lower to the water. I can get a different angle on the paddle, but, uh, but also I, I, I have less wind resistance, less wind drag. And so just simply sitting down like this can really help, you know, punch into the wind a whole lot more efficiently. And so one other feature worth mentioning is just the deck, right? So this whole gray area, this is, it's kind of like that sea deck material where it's a soft, you know, it feels nice, but up front, you know, up front is uh, just like a hard, kind of like a surfboard material. Um, so, so, you know, if you want to rest your paddle, like, like I kind of wish there was some, something with more friction up front because I, I typically rest my paddle up here. And uh, so when I am fishing, I literally just wrap the paddle in this, in this rope so that I can just quickly, you know, just go from paddling, secure the paddle, still looking at the fish, reach back, grab my rod without ever taking my off the fish and be ready to cast. Uh, but until I put these little, I end up just getting some little, uh, little sticker sticky things on there and I put it there that way it holds the paddle in place so that was really the only modification that I did to the board and it cost maybe like two dollars so uh, that's the reason why those things are there it's really just to hold my paddle uh, while I'm fishing because you know my, my other board does have this you know this soft material all the way up so that I can just rest it there and it'll stick but uh, but the fact that you know it's just this this normal like surfboard material up top you really need to have something that'll hold on to your paddle if that's if that's how you fish as well. I personally think that's the most efficient way to, to sight fish. And I'll put a link down below for details on how to transition from, you know, paddling to fishing if you haven't yet checked that video. All right, well, those are the, you know, the pros and cons and, and the features that I, I thought that you might be in interested to learn about. If you have used this board, you know, please do share your thoughts. You leave a comment down below. Love to hear both the pros and the cons. Uh, and if you have any questions about things that I mentioned or things that I didn't mention, uh, you know, leave that as well. I'd be happy to help help out. But yeah, overall, I've really enjoyed this board. I've, you know, caught tarpon off of it. We've taken out of the keys, caught lobster off of it. Uh, it's just been a really, uh, really fun, fun board to, to, to use. And again, I've been most impressed with the stability uh, compared to how light it is uh, and then how quiet it is. When I am sight fishing, it is definitely uh, a very quiet hole design. So anyhow, that's it for now. Hope to see you again soon. <laughs>